passing wind can be a clue to your health. What if most of the time you hardly fart, but other times you pass wind a lot and it smells? Well, it's common to pass wind more on some days than others due to what you've eaten and what you've do, been doing. Noticing that you are certain there are certain times that your thoughts are a lot more frequent than smellier could be to do with your sex. Women go through cycles every month of infatuation in hormones results in a rise in oxygen and a projection of chemicals called parostaglandulins. Some women produce too much of this chemical and cause your bowels to contract more than normal, making you pass wind more often. Couple this with the fact that you go through bacterial changes in your gut during this time of the month, and you also find that those farts have a stronger smell. This is fine and nothing to worry about. What if you're farting a lot in bed? Most people do not sleep fart very often simply because the body relaxes at night and farting takes place when we're fully conscious. But frequently farting at night could be a sign of poor health. Passing wind in bed could simply be the sign that you're not eating, you're eating too late in the evening close to the bedtime. Therefore, you're fighting more in the night. However, it can be, it can be a sign of digestive disorders of food intolerance. Running is yours in your sleep is not dangerous to your health, but doing it not a lot is unusual. It means an exercise. But an excessive build-up of gas and knees checking out. Laxalose intolerance is a common cause, which means your body cannot absorb the sugar in dairy products properly. It causes excessive funny farts and can result in farting more at night. Speak to your GP if you're concerned. What if you are farting and pooing less than normal? Some of us think that Farting less often is a good thing, but it could be a sign that you're suffering from a high stress levels of stress. When we feel very stressed, especially over long periods, our stomach, tummy muscles, our digestive tract become tense and high levels of stress hormones, cortisol, are digested, playing havoc with our gut bacteria and digestion. Many of us change our diets when we are under pressure often consuming more unhealthily. People don't realise the physical impact that stress has on our bodies. Our bowels react to this. We find ourselves constipated, or sometimes the opposite, because our guts are tense and not working as they should. Our breathing also changes. We often take in more air than we need, taking time to breathe, deep breathe, taking the exercise, and trying to get more sleep can settle our guts. What if your thoughts are painful? Track wind can be a hugely painful condition. Experiencing this sudden and for a prolonged period can be a sign of digestive issues and an irritable bowel syndrome. Chronic digestive issues affect the large intestines, often cause the muscle contractions. They keep move, food moving from your stomach through your digestive tract to be stronger or less longer. This process can cause excessive gas wind up, build up, bloating and painful passing wind. As a result, the nerves in your gut become ultra sensitive to the painful, to the movement of gas, causing you to feel more pain. Concern visit your GP, get a change in your diet, and eat more fiber and exercise, and, and more fiber and vegetables, and try to increase your daily exercise. What if your thoughts are foul smelling? And you lose your appetite. If you notice your farts are a lot smellier than usual, this is coupled with loss of appetite and even weight loss. It could be a sign of Crohn's disease. Condition can cause small intestine bacterial overgrowth. Simply meaning too much bacteria build up in a part of the digestive system. When this, these bacteria break down food residue, they can produce a smelly gas. There are lots of symptoms to look out for if you suspect Crohn's disease. As many farts are called provided with sudden appetite, by sudden appetite and weight loss, could be reason to be checked out by your GP. You might also find your blood in your poo, painful cramps and excessive wind. See your GP immediately if these, if you have any of these symptoms. What if your farts are streamy, smelly? Most farts smell unpleasant to a stent. 
that yours are cons- constantly, consistently, incredibly smelly and filled in the room with odour. It could be a warning sign. It could be linked to inflammatory bowel disease or an irritable bowel syndrome. So this smelly gas can also be due to bowel cancer. Although this could also have other, it could be uh, also have other symptoms, including blood in your poo, a change of bowel to bowel habits, and it's plain weight loss, extensive tightness, to no and no reason. A pain or lump in your belly, tummy. But he, but I've always seen your GP know what the common cause of smelly farts is in your diet. Sulfur rich foods such as broccoli and brussels sprouts have produced a very strong eggy, eggy smell in your digestive smell system with lots of colour, well, lots of cauliflower, garlic, onions, beans, and even wine can generate excessive bin smell. Usually foul smelly farts mean you're skewing good you're consuming a good diet of veg and fibre, so it may not be a bad thing. What if you're unable to fart? You've come to go a while without passing wind, but a long period of being completely unable to fart is a stream and cause for concern. If you've experienced bloating and you're completely unable to pass wind, check wind, seek, medi- seek urgent medical advice, as you may have a bowel blockage. You'll also be experiencing a painful and ten minute painful t- tender tummy. It's as, if, as this is covered with a prolonged period of passing no wind. You should visit your GP or A&E.